Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from the Body Fit Solution. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. This is short and sweet where I show you a nutritional tip and an exercise tip so that you can stay healthy and strong. Hey, today we're going to do a back lunge. Now, why are we going to work that? Because we want to work our engine. Our engine is about from our waist to our knees, all those big old muscles in between. Now, we're going to work the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, the calves, the core, the back. You got it. So this back lunge is particularly for people who are concerned about their knees. So it's a little more gentle on your joints than a front lunge and it challenges your balance and we know how important that is so let's get started now i'm going to show you on a sideways so that you can see what i'm doing okay now i'm going to hold my abs in pretty tight here i'm going to pull up from my pelvic floor and bring it up here and just hold like a little ball right in here i'm going to just squeeze that okay now my feet are together, I'm going to slide one leg back. Now I'm going to leave my heel up on the back leg, and here's an important point. Don't put that foot out like that. You see how that back foot is going out and pointing to the corner here? Don't do that. That turns my hips, and it's pretty hard to hold my balance and get the right form if my hips are turned in the wrong way. So I'm going to keep my leg right in line with my hip, and then my heel will be up, okay? Now I wanna go down into that back lunge. I'm gonna take a big enough step back there so that when I go down, I have a 90 degree on this knee and a 90 degree on that knee. Now the other thing you wanna look for when you're doing that is that I wanna make sure that this front knee is in line with my ankle or close there too, okay? So I'm going to just come down, and I want this knee ideally about two inches from the floor. Now to get back up, I'm going to push through this heel all the way up the back of my leg, through my calf, my hamstring, my glutes, and bring my leg back up. All right? So here we go. We're going to do a couple of them here, but you want to do about 10 or 12 on each side. Oh, I know, that seems like a lot, but... You'll get used to it and you'll make you nice and strong. All right, so here we go. Abs are engaged. Whew, hips are squared up. All right, here we go. We're going to lay it back. Heel is up. Take it down. Bring it up. Push through the heel in the front. Bring it together. Take it back. Heels up. Abs are engaged. Bring it down. Push through this front heel and bring it up. Let's try one more here. We're going to take it back. Heels up. Abs engaged, take it down, and push it up. Good? Good. Now, we have a nutritional tip here too. Now today we're going to talk about protein. Protein is so important, particularly as we get older. You know, as we hit 70, we lose a significant amount of protein. And we need that for a lot of reasons. We need it to keep our muscles nice and strong. We need it so that we can keep our bone density there too. We need it so it keeps our skin nice and healthy so it doesn't get fragile. We need it so we can ward off infections. A lot of reasons for that protein. And here are some ways of getting it in there. These are a list of foods. Now I have a list here, so I'm gonna read off my list, okay? So we have beef, yogurt, salmon, I can't even read it here. <laughs> Chicken, almonds, milk, quinoa, chickpeas, eggs, oatmeal, spinach, green peas. You got it. There's a lot of places to find that protein. So make sure you add a little bit into each of your meal. Now what you want to look for is anywhere from 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. That's how much protein you want to eat. Anywhere between 0.8 and 1.2 and that depends on how much activity you have if you're an athlete but really out there working all right so say you were 150 pounds that would turn out to be anywhere from 68 to 88 okay 82 pounds 82 grams of protein a day 
Does that make sense? I hope so. All right. Well, now you know why I do this. I do this to keep you healthy and strong so that you have a body that moves well, looks good, and, and feels good, too. So I'll see you next time at Short and Sweet. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.